A man, an animal, who has done it all in WWE. The following contest is scheduled for one fall and is for the World Heavyweight and the WWE Championships. Making his way to the ring from Washington, D.C., weighing in at 290 pounds, the Animal Batista. The Animal has conquered countless iconic heroes in WWE. And Batista, he doesn't fear any being. No fear, no trepidation, all focus. Yeah, hey, add to that, Corey, Batista's frightening presence and overwhelming intensity. Brutality awaits. A vicious battle for survival is about to begin. Batista may be the valedictorian of the School of Hard Knocks from childhood all the way to WWE. Yeah, but you could say Batista's time as a member of Evolution really created the DNA for the animal. His intimidation factors off the charts. He just pummels you with brute force. Yeah, nothing more dangerous, hungry, and aggressive than the animal Batista. His opponent from Minneapolis, Minnesota, weighing in at 286 pounds, Brock Lesnar. Emotionless, heartless, and hell bent on absolute destruction. That, my friends, is the beast incarnate, Brock Lesnar. I've talked to a lot of superstars who have faced Brock Lesnar, and there is one common denominator between them all. They say once you are in the ring with Brock Lesnar, you are never the same. Because you go to Suplex City! The winner here joins rare company of double champions. There are plenty of words you could use to describe Brock Lesnar. Warrior, cowboy, but none fit him exactly as a beast. He's never been a superstar that has personified dominance like the beast incarnate. Oh no, he can be caught here. Bad spot for him. The heel hooks in. This will tear. Fighting out of it. Successfully does. Couple effective shots. Dominating shoulder tackle. to the temple, hoping to disorient. Driven down. The animal is fired up as he'll ever be. Good God, that's devastating. Off into the pin. Still in it. Close line. So effective. Drop. Piercing. Now he's been put on the defensive. Counters. This could be an opportunity. Oh, taken down. 
Oh, Mountie and now just hammered away with the rights. Elbows right to the forehead. Lesnar unleashed. Grabbing a hold of the arm. Oh, a hip drop. You can see the intent behind that attack. Exploiting the arm must be the strategy here. Talk about dismantling your opponent. Ooh! -hoo. Holy, that was an awful landing. And it has got to be demoralizing just being tossed outside the ring like that. Oh, they can worry about their feelings later. Right now, they're making sure every bone's still in place. He turns it around. What's coming next? Taking their time. Ugh. Ah, punch in the gut. Take the wind right out of you. Moves outside. What's the plan here? Oh, what a DDT. Batista getting the WWE Universe riled up. Ugh, gets put into the barricade. And Batista gets warded off. Batista avoids impact. Oh! And some strain coming to Lesnar after that maneuver. The animal's been grinding his teeth all night, and that was an indication that he's ready to feast now. Suplex! And he gets set back into the ring. The animal just lived up to his moniker. His sustained power is off the charts. Power like this is why he's destroyed the careers of... Batista! Batista bomb! Match ending power. Shoulders down. Ah, oh, shoulder up before three. If it was anyone other than Brock Lesnar to kick out there, I'd be more surprised. The supreme being of our species doing inhuman things. And for all the power that Batista possesses, he just could not keep him down for three. Deconstructing the knee there. Oh my goodness, dribbling the opponent's head like a basketball. Oh, look at this, just cranking the head. That's got to hurt. Just cranking the head. He gets back into the ring. Oh my gosh, with one hand. Dishing out a suplex. Batista is being taken full advantage of now. Lesnar's giving him what so many other superstars have had the displeasure of experiencing themselves. An absolute beatdown. Brock Lesnar is in a world of hurt. Might want to walk it off or shake it off or do whatever he needs to do to get his head in the... Uh-oh. There it comes. Brock Lesnar! At five! Will Batista recover? Cover! Two! Amazing! Amazing! The animal refusing to stay down for the count! Well, Batista was down, but as we just saw, he's definitely not out. And Lesnar is furious right now. Kicking out of that may have been a poor decision. Vicious right forearm. Hoist it up! Batista is just playing with his food right now. Oklahoma slam! Oh, he's got him here, he's got him up, and go! Oh! Brock's looking sluggish. Things could be winding down for him. Batista with a patent Batista bomb. Batista didn't waste time. He stays alive. He stays alive. Just inhuman tenacity on display from Brock Lesnar. 
He was basically operating on natural instinct with that kick out. Kicking out of that is only going to piss off Batista even more, and that's not something I'd recommend. It's been a hard-hitting affair. Soaring. Splash! Batista dishing it out now. But I doubt there's any panic seeping into Brock's mind. Every kick out taking so much energy to muster. Really just laying it in. Blow to the abdomen gets them out of that. Huge toss. And somehow through the pain, Lesnar is still holding the line in this match. Lesnar is a shark who's taking his victim into deep waters. Suplex City. This is it. Stop by rope break. Brock Lesnar, what power! With an F5! Bang! Lesnar's got this closed up. And we have a new champion! Unbelievable! That had to be one of the matches of the year. Let's take another look at some of the action. Ladies and gentlemen, here is your world heavy and the WWE Champion, Brock. A night and title change we will all remember for a very long time. Honestly, Michael, there is no way I can think to describe this other than absolute goosebumps. Then imagine how the new champ must feel, Byron.